everyone. Midori here from Ecamm Network, makers of Ecamm Live. For those of you who are new to Ecamm, Ecamm Live is an all-in-one live streaming platform for Mac users. We have a 14-day trial available on our website at ecamm.com, and we encourage you to check it out and just explore all its awesome features. Meet the Pros is our weekly interview series where we interview Ecamm Live users to learn more about our community members and how they're using live streaming to build their own communities, whether it be for a business, a charitable organization, a church community, or just for fun. If you've been using Ecamm Live for a while and would like to be interviewed for our series, please reach out to us. We're very easy to find. You can send us a Facebook message. Um, you can email us. Um, so today we're interviewing Kelly Artis, the CEO, COO of Millie, a company that works to alleviate the stress of frequent relo relocation of military families by providing resources and professional services during every step of a permanent change of station. I'm just learning about all this stuff. It's very, very important work. Um, Millie is using Ecamm Live to host interviews called Bayside Chats. And I don't want to go too much into it because I think Kelly could probably do a better job um, of explaining it than I can. So without further ado, here is Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hey, Midori. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited thank to be here. Yes, thank you so much for being here. We're really, really happy to have you. I really, um, really feel fortunate to have someone like you who's doing really, really great work to come on here and also to be a user of Ecamm Live. So we're really happy to have you. So um, please tell us more about Millie, um, what you guys are doing. I know for people like myself who are not in military families, we don't know a ton about this stuff and how much stress relocating frequently can put on families. So please tell us all about it. Yeah. So, okay. So the, first of all, let me just say that there's a ton of misconceptions out there as to what military life kind of entails. Um, and I I was shocked to, when I started interfacing more with the public to learn that most people think that when you move, everything's taken care of for you. Um, everybody thinks, oh, well, you know, the military moves you and the military puts you up in housing on the installation and you have your own grocery stores and all that stuff. Right. And that's kind of the extent of uh, people that don't have an affiliation or a, a touch point to the military. know. Um, and in reality, it's pretty far from that. So um, they call it a permanent change of station, uh, which is a PCS. So if you hear me say this repeatedly throughout the conversation, I'm going to try my best not to. We speak in acronyms. Um, so I'm going to try to pull that back a little and remind myself who I'm talking to. But a PCS happens typically every two to three years. It could be much more frequent than that you know, it happens in one place. Um, the average family moves around seven times in a career, uh, but it could be much more than that. So my family's at 13. No, no, no. I'm sorry. We're at seven moves and 13 years of marriage. Um, and he's been in for 16 years. So my husband is active duty army. Um, yeah. So what happens when you move, the military says, okay, you, you service member has a new job at a new duty station. So you're going to move on this day. Um, they write you some orders that say officially you're changing duty stations and then you can schedule a move. So they'll come and get your stuff. They'll box your stuff up and you have movers paid for, but housing is kind of on you to figure out. So more and more nowadays, 70% of us now actually live off the installation. So we prefer um, mostly to integrate into the communities that we're moving to. So if we're moving, you guys are in, you're, you said you're in San Francisco, correct? Yes, I'm currently in San Francisco, but the uh, Ecamm okay. Live, the company is in Massachusetts. So yeah, we're a little bit all over, but yeah, I'm in California. So just as an ex yeah, so just as an example, so my husband was stationed at Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California, out there on the Central Coast. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually... Um, had the opportunity to live in, the, we could live on the installation there, or I was actually working in San Francisco. I commuted, I know it's kind of a haul, once a week um, down to San Francisco. So we had to kind of consider where do we want to live um, as far as that, what, I, what can we afford to <laughs> for that area is definitely a question. So, yeah, but we didn't have very long to figure that out, right? So you get mm -hmm. these orders, they say, okay, you're moving. Um, and then the military families typically have several decision points to make or decisions to make like really quickly. So they need to know, are we going to live on the base or off the base? Can we live on the base? Because housing isn't available to everyone. Um, yeah. And sometimes there's a wait list, you know, to be able to get into the housing. Um, so and a lot of people, I mean, you like to live in the communities, mainly sometimes there's better school options for your children. Sometimes there's employment opportunities for the spouse um, that are in different cities or surrounding cities or even in that community. So people are, we want, we want options. And now with 
the internet, <laughs> um, we have options. We're able to research and kind of explore the areas before we get there. Um, sometimes we're fortunate enough to have you know, up to six months of kind of lead time to know before we move, but sometimes it could be less than a month. It could be four weeks, uh, which as you can imagine is kind of a scramble. So yeah, I can't, I mean, moving <laughs> for anyone is extremely stressful, even if you have noticed. So having yeah. four weeks or, I mean, it's stressful yeah. for sure. So it's, 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 you know, it's, it is, there's stressful. We know all the pain points and we've gotten mm -hmm. military community in general has gotten really adept and nimble at kind of navigating those pain points. So, you know, I don't want to your audience to hear like a bunch of complaints, right? Because this is what makes us so cool as a community is that we're super resilient and we are able to kind of tackle these challenges. Um, but it doesn't make them any less stressful, right? <laughs> so yeah, completely. Said, no, total yes. respect. I mean, people, I mean, like you said, seven times, I mean, and you, you're yeah. still smiling and you look healthy and strong. So. I'm not, I'm not in the middle of a move. So I'm so you smiling. Guys, okay. <laughs> you guys are very resilient for sure. If I had boxes piled up around me, then you might not get this face. But right. um, so, but what we've done though, is we want to try to help people focus on the adventure, right? Like most people join the military because of the adventure, see the world, all that kind of stuff. Um, so we want to be able to bring the focus back to that. So our whole um, mission really at Millie is to help people make decisions before they actually move instead of making them all during that really compressed uh, period of time that we have to get from point A to point B. So what we've done is provide a ton of resources on our website uh, by way of area information guides, installation guides um, that we actually wrote from hosting a series of focus groups. And we I gathered up a bunch of military spouses and said, okay, tell me everything about your area. And we um, distilled all that, put that into these really robust installation and area guides for people to be able to access on the website. Wow. And then we've taken it a step farther and actually um, implemented a couple of service provider um, options for folks. So military families oftentimes find themselves in a position where they have to rent a home or even buy a home. Um, sight unseen, meaning they didn't get the chance to go and travel and see the house before they signed the lease. Um, so what we wow. have, actually, yeah, imagine it's that. Really, right? It really is an adventure for sure. It's crazy. Well, you don't have time and yeah. the military doesn't pay for a sightseeing trip or a recon trip. You know, you've got to get time off work, travel, lodging, babysitter, you know, all that kind of oh. stuff. So a lot of times you either live on base or you just show up and try to hope for housing um, in the community, or you can sign a lease before you get there. And if you can't get out there to see the actual location or the house, you can hire one of our scouts. So it's kind of like TaskRabbit. So think TaskRabbit for military families, okay? Yes. So you can hire a Millie scout who is a military spouse in the community or near that installation. And I think right now we're all, they're all ladies. So she can go out and recon the house for you, FaceTime tour with her phone and say, hey, this closet wasn't in the listing photos. You might want to take a look at this or <laughs> check out what's across the street or, you know, mm. things like that. Right. To help yeah. avoid a bad situation and just yeah. open up opportunities really for people. Really important so. details. I don't know if I could buy a house, especially sight unseen. So that's incredible. Right. <laughs> Buying a house is a little more um, tricky. And that's yeah. actually where we, um, our next kind of service area is um, our network of real estate agents who are all exclusively military veterans or military spouses. Wow. So these are all top performing real estate agents that are, you know, and all across the country, we have almost a thousand agents now um, called agent and they have actually done a PCS or they've actually relocated with the military. So they understand um, everything that we're talking about today. They've already done it, been there, done that. Um, and then they also understand this really awesome benefit that we have available to us, which is a, a loan product. It's called the VA loan. And it actually allows military uh, folks who are eligible to purchase a home with no down payment, which is pretty incredible, but it's really complicated product. Um, that not every agent would have a reason to know, but, um, so we vet based on sort of those criteria so that we can a support the military spouse and veteran real estate agents in our community. And then also provide, um, just an awesome pairing experience for military customers who need to buy under these kind of crazy circumstances. So. Wow. You it. guys are doing so yeah. much. It's very, <laughs> very, very inspiring. Um, okay. So, um, so tell me a little bit then about how you guys have been using live broadcasting to share this. I mean, obviously, this is a great platform to teach people, even on our channel, on you know, on our in our website. 
uh, on our Facebook page, but tell me about like how sort of how you started getting being like, okay, we're going to start doing live streaming. We're going to start doing our, our Bayside chats. So, I mean, every military spouse I know, I mean, I'm sure there's some outliers who aren't on Facebook, but pretty much everybody's on Facebook. That's just where our people live. Um, so much of our lifestyle revolves around networking. You move to a new place and you know, no one you literally start putting out feelers in Facebook groups because there's an installation, air, like a group for every installation, spouses groups and, and whatnot um, that we automatically kind of habitually gravitate to to try to reestablish things like where is the best coffee shop in this area or give me pros and cons between this neighborhood and this neighborhood. You know, any kind of question you can imagine. Um, that's kind of how we operate. So it's a very, it's a really strong tight knit network. So everyone's on Facebook. <laughs> so we've done a ton of our, you know, Millie's marketing and everything is, is pretty much rotates around social media. Um, and then we wanted a way to be able to just kind of interface with our community, um, mainly to be able to introduce folks to them that are doing a place well. So let me explain that. There's a lot of apprehension that sometimes come with, comes with these moves. So if you think about it, you've spent the last three years of your life, you're rooted in a community, you've finally found your friends, your people, your tribe, um, you know, you have your kids settled or, you know, you maybe have a job, whatever it is, and then you have to uproot. So there's this frenzied sort of um, scramble, try to figure out where to live, you know, even things like, you know, disconnecting your cable and utilities. I mean, to think about all the things that are involved with a move, right? It's like this crazy checklist. Um, and sometimes the stress gets kind of, um, it starts to snowball and you don't even realize it. You don't know why you're stressed out or maybe you're apprehensive because the place that you're moving has a bad reputation. Uh, maybe people that you've talked to say, this place is terrible. You're going to be miserable. I mean, can you imagine starting out on that kind of foot, right? Like that's, you're already stressed out. And then you're right. like, I don't even want to go. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Um, you don't have a choice, and you don't have a choice. You don't have, you a, gotta navigate you don't it. have a choice. Yeah. Well, so yeah. you can't. So some families do choose to. Um, it's called geo batching. So some families, for a myriad of reasons, will choose. You know, the spouse typically will stay put in a place, and then the service member will go um, to the next duty station, and they'll live separately for whatever the period of time is that they are stationed there. Um, typically, it's around employment. Um, maybe the spouse has a job that, you know, he or she doesn't want to leave or, or shouldn't leave or it you know, doesn't make sense right. to leave or it's um, kids want to finish out high school, yeah. right? In the place. And maybe they're nearing retirement and it's the last duty station or maybe it's not that far away or whatnot. So that's a pretty, it, I wouldn't say it's common, but it's more common than you would think. Right. Sadly, sometimes that does happen because of the apprehension on um, just the information that's out there about a place. So what we wanted to do, introduce... Midori, let's pretend like you're up at MPS uh, at, in Monterey, California. And maybe for some crazy reason, someone is apprehensive about moving to Monterey, which please don't be. It's amazing. Right. Um, <laughs> so I would then have you on to one of our Bayside chats. So it's a play on Fireside Chat. We want to just, we call it bringing calm to the chaos. I want to introduce any military spouse out there that's having any kind of stress or anxiety about moving somewhere. I want to introduce her to you and I want to ask you all the questions. Tell me where is target, you know, like little things that make your life. Um, we call it pattern of life to help you reestablish normalcy at that place. What kind of weather is there? What, what kind of gear do I need to consider? Do I sell my snow boots when I move to Hawaii? Yeah, of course. You know, like what are the groceries like? What are the store? All these kind of questions. So I'll ask you, you then get to say, I love it here. Or I was scared to come when I first found out this is where we were headed, but we're doing great. And here's how, and here's why. And it just is able to provide like this moment of like, okay, that's not so bad, <laughs> you know? And then yeah. what's really cool is we keep the threads alive in our group. So we do these primarily in our closed Facebook group. Um, we, we like to maintain some sort of privacy to it and have the ability to, um, you know, pull down anything that maybe someone says and shouldn't say um, when it comes to privacy concerns within the military, because um, that's a thing that we're always cognizant of. But we host the chats in the group, and then we keep the threads alive, and people are able to still ask questions with you, Midori, who's at NPS. And, you know, you could come in and answer and say, well, actually, we love this pediatrician or, you know, whatever the question is. And so we're able to kind of, like, instigate all of that community building right from the beginning before someone even has like boxes in their house that are already 
starting to build a new network. Um, and yeah, just hopefully bring some calm and, and supplement it with all of our resources that we already have on the website. Yeah, I love that. I mean, you're, you provide all these great services, but then on top of that, you've built this community and you've invited people in and through the live streaming, you're actually able to do these live interviews. People can actually see someone's face and be like, you yep. know, this is my real experience. These are the real stores I go to. These are the real doctors I use. Yep. And um, that's really powerful and, and amazing. Yep. And I think the work you guys are doing is so wonderful. And I'm really glad that I got to meet you and talk to you about this. Although otherwise, because it's not kind of in my world, I would never have known. And right. I, I think it's it's um, super amazing. Um, so tell me a little bit about um, how you got started using Ecamm Live, how you found us, and like kind of why you wanted to start using a um, live streaming, like, you know, streaming platform or a software. I, think, I want to say that I tried. So, well, the, the desire to live stream came first. Again, right. we're on Facebook, so we're having to play those play those games, play that Facebook game of what will people even see? Um, we don't have a huge ad budget, you know, we're a small little startup. So we're trying to figure out the best way to reach the people that want to see what we have to do. Um, so I want to say that I started out looking at maybe some other programs that were just a little more complicated. <laughs> this is not <laughs> something that I ever yeah. thought that I would be able to do. I thought there was a much bigger tech hurdle. Um, and it, yeah. it's crazy how I've been able to kind of grow along the way. But um, yeah, I came across Ecamm. I want to say that I should be crediting Stephanie Liu. Do you know, you know Stephanie? Yes, we do. Yeah. We know Stephanie. So yeah. I, my randomly, my cousin is friends with her, turned me on to hers. I was following all of her tutorials and everything. I know she's a big advocate and huge um, Ecamm Live user. So Stephanie, yeah. hey, if you're out Hi, there. Hi, Stephanie. You're amazing. Yeah, yeah, you're an inspiration. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I just started consuming as much information as I could. I got on super early, um, somehow managed to weasel my way into the beta group. I don't know how, I still don't know how I'm in there. <laughs> oh, it's great that you're there. We love having you there. I'm, yeah, I'm like, hey guys, it's me. Don't laugh at my question. But um, no, my whole live stream was muted. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, so I started using it. Um, and it's grown a lot even just since I mean, I mean, I guess I've been using it for at least a year. Yeah. Um, we got hot and heavy with our Bayside chats in the spring. So that's typically when our move season is kind of ramping up. Okay, so yeah. that's, we tried to focus um, starting in April and we did about 30 between April and June um, live streams. Oh, wow. So I know it was, bonkers <laughs> for me. it was so a lot fun. of fun. <laughs> But um, yeah, I was having like two to two to three interviews a week. Um, and again, you know, like we were talking earlier, it's not always about the live viewers because we try to catch people. But, you know, we're still growing our audience. Uh, yeah. What I love is that I've been able to archive them over in a library on YouTube. So now people can search for Fort Huachuca and pull up our live stream about Fort Huachuca, you know, and, and it's able to populate in a way that never would have happened just on Google just because of our you know, blog, basically pages, it's able to kind of elevate some of that exposure for us too. So yeah, and that's a really great point. I uh, we put all of our meet the pros on YouTube as well. And I actually I watch your videos on YouTube. Um, I'm a big YouTube fan. Um, but that's a really great thing about Ecamm Live is that we, it Ecamm Live automatically records all of your yeah. live broadcasts. So once you're yeah. done with that, you just pop them on over to YouTube. And there's another place where people are you know, accessing your content and learning about you. And just like you said, you can send your military families over there. They can search by location and boom. So yeah, um, and I'll tell you what we, so we did one this morning, actually, I did um, a private webinar for this membership group that we have. So we actually also try to educate real estate agents who maybe aren't necessarily affiliated with the military, but have okay. um, military clients that come their way. Uh, oh, wow. Either they're cool. co-located near a base or, um, yeah, just have a heart to serve our community and want to learn more. Um, so we have conversations just like kind of like we were just having, like these are the challenges that we face. This is how you can interface with your clients. And we try to provide educational materials for them. So we did a webinar today in our private group. Um, I had a guest on and we were talking about the changes that are coming to the VA loan benefit. Just oh, yeah. kind of like these are some things to think about. These are questions you ask your clients. Really cool conversation. But then I was able to export it to YouTube immediately. And then because the my guest wasn't a member of our membership. I sent her the YouTube link. And what's so cool is that it's already populated all of the text that I'd put in oh, to schedule yeah. the EQ oh, yeah. live on mm -hmm. Facebook and our Facebook groups. And then it was able to, it just so easy, like so easy. It 
converted everything over. I was able to send her the link and done. It's great. So she can embed that. She can place that in her marketing and her stuff. So we're able to kind of double dip in all the different audiences. So cool. Yeah. So look at you. You went from being like, ooh, technology to being no, like, no. I can do it all. <laughs> In a very short time, so yeah, that's really, yeah. that's really wonderful. Yeah, if I can do it, anyone can. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we have had several people that I've interviewed for this say that, and um, and you know, we at Ecamm, like our goal is to make really easy to use software. So um, you know, that's we are we are not we don't need the most high tech people to use our software. When you keep, you know, yeah. we we're able to get anyone to use our software. It's super, super easy. And you can do it on your own too, which is a great thing. Like you don't need to yeah. have an assistant helping you. You can, I do it here by myself all the time. Um, <laughs> so, and you do too. So yeah, that's really, really cool. So tell me which, I know we already talked about some of the Ecamm Live features, but like, what are the other features that you really, really love and you find to be sort of game changers for you? Okay. Everybody get the, um, the stream deck. Uh, oh, what do you call, yeah. I don't even know what you call it. The plugin. Oh yeah. Where it's, now it's got all the scenes. Oh my yes. God. <laughs> yes, that is so cool. I used to spend so long. So, okay. I'm going to give my like really amazing in-depth scientific tutorial real quick. So <laughs> this is a deck. This is another product that has, you guys have kind of partnered up with, I guess. I yes. don't know if I'm all the way on the screen. Um, yeah. And this controls when you switch screens. So if you saw Midori, like she can go back and forth between like a split screen or just her, or just me. Um, I you used to kind of have to do that manually um, and you still can with hotkeys, yes. like a little keyboard shortcut on your computer. I don't remember any of those. There's no hope in, you know, where for me to try to remember that. But this little gadget um, is like shortcut keys for all the hotkeys. It looks way more high tech and fancy than it really is. Cause it's so easy. It's literally buttons. So I've got, you know, mute my microphone for when I need to yell at my button on my <laughs> <laughs> so that I can mute it real quick and, you know, tell my kids to be quiet or um, switch scenes, you know, whatever. It, so it just makes it so easy and also allows me to be more present in the conversation, which I think is really yeah. cool. Because I used to be like, I'd, I'd take my guest off, be, you know, fiddling with all this stuff. And then I didn't hear what she said, you know, and wasn't really right. able to listen actively and engage properly. So that always kind of was like, oh, that's hard. So Sorry, not a true eCam feature, but no, I that's love totally that. fine. Um, <laughs> actually, I just wanted to say because you'd mentioned earlier that you're a beta user, so um, full integration with the stream, yeah. st stream Deck is actually in beta. So um, if you are interested, if you have a Stream Deck at home and you want to part of the beta group, just go to Facebook and go to eCam Live Beta Group, and you can join there. But it will be, we'll have it out. If we have it working, obviously you use it. It's so so um, worth it, you guys. Yeah. If you're on the fence about a membership, like these features are like amazing. So just be excited for that coming your way soon. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It, it's it's pretty much ready to go. We don't ever, we don't really, really tell when we're going to release our, our new, our new updates, yeah. our new versions. But, um, but, but we, but if you do have a stream deck and you want to join the beta group, we'd love to have you test it out. Um, we're very open to adding people to our beta group. The more the merrier. Exactly. That giveaway features <laughs> that probably shouldn't have been got. Oh yeah. Okay. No, what is another no. <laughs> Anyone can join our beta group. So it's totally fine. You didn't give anything away. We're actually glad to, to have you promote it. It's great for us. Okay, um, so another thing that I did want to say, the yeah. the thing that I think sets you guys apart from some of the other services out there, I'm loving the ability to do the bottom thirds, like the graphic overlays. Yeah. Uh, so that's the question I'll probably get the most when, um, you know, maybe people that are new to live streaming or looking into maybe starting one, um, they want to know how to get their branding on the, you know, the back corner or, you know, what any kind of thing. Um it's so easy. You just literally create your file, you know, put a little color bar. It could be your logo, you get all kinds of stuff. You can type in um, and change the names, you know, like this is, and this is a pro tip, pro tip. Um, I used yeah. to create the graphic with the name in it and download the whole thing instead of like typing in a text graphic. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but I misspelled a couple of people's names and then during the five minute pre-chat, I'm having to go back into Canva and retype some <laughs> yeah. So don't do that. Do it in layers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do it right in. <laughs> yeah. And that's the easy thing is people are always asking us about graphics and you can definitely pull things in from Canva for sure. If you want to do that, especially if you have the right spellings. I actually made that mistake <laughs> with poor Alex McDonald's 
I spelled his name incorrectly and I, oh, I, no. I had, didn't have time to change it. So I actually learned that. See, yeah. Um, See? But he, he was is... very, Alex McDonald, if you're watching, I'm so sorry. You were very, very gracious. Oh. Um, so I spelled it with, um, without an A, it's MacDonald, not McDonald. So oh. um, yeah. yeah, you live and you learn. But yeah, you can just make all of your overlays right in Ecamm Live. Because people are always asking us like, how did you make that? Or how did you do that? Just do it in, in Ecamm. You can use Canva if you want, but. Yeah, uh, yeah, it doesn't it's even really have to be that tricky. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Pulling um, logo. What else? I love the comments on screen. You can pull your comments on screen. Yeah. And so people can see what questions you're answering. And that's actually really helpful too when you're doing interviews because um, your guest can see the production window, which is neat. So you right. can use the virtual cam um, so that whoever you know, you're know you interviewing, otherwise they're only seeing you know you through Skype. They only see like yeah. whoever they're talking to. But if you use this virtual cam feature, they can actually see what is on Facebook. So they're not tempted to go turn their Facebook on and have the, the sound come on and have this whole like feedback thing. Um, yeah. So I really like that. And then be, them being able to also then see the question that came up on screen um, yeah, and kind of answer I those. I just pulled one on just so people could see it. Um, uh, Katie wrote in wrote um, integration with Stream Deck is in our beta version right now, <laughs> coming soon to everyone else. So, um, Spoiler. so yeah, I just, <laughs> I, just pull, I just pulled that on because she posted that in our in our comments so that people could see that feature. Cool. So. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. That's neat too. Cause then that lives forever on YouTube. Like whenever you republish it, you're able to then like, instead of just talking through a whole conversation, you're able to have like some visual cues, um, about, you know, who was asking even, um, yeah. uh, I haven't really played around with restream yet, but that's next on my list to be able to multicast or multi-stream to yeah. like all kinds of platforms. Yeah. And we have a partnership with restream. So I'll email you a coupon code. And if anyone else wants to oh, email, great. If you want to shoot us an email or send us a Facebook message, I will give you our secret code to, I think it's like 60% off your first payment. And if you buy a year, it's a really good deal. So, wow. Um, yeah. So, so send us a Facebook wow, message. That's awesome. Um, email us and I'll get you that code. I don't know it off the top of my head, so I can't share it with you right now. But, oh, um, no, that's cool. Um, but shoot us, um, yeah, shoot us a message. Maybe we can post it um, down in the comments as well. But yeah. So we, yeah, we've also done a, um, a Q and A with Restream as well, which that video should be available on our Facebook page. So I think I um, saw that. Yeah, so they, they asked, uh, um, yeah. someone from I forget the guy's name, but we interviewed someone from Restream, and and he um he does some uh, he answers questions about about using Restream. So that's a really great video to um to watch. So yeah, definitely check out that feature. And that's the great thing about Ecamm Live is you know we have um we have the standard version and then the pro version, but we have like so many of our features are in the standard version. I think there's only like four or five peach features that are in the pro version. So you can start out with a standard version and really get to know all the features and then, and then like work your way up. Like there's so much going on, but like you can, like you can get started just like one little piece at a time. You don't have to understand every mm -hmm. single feature to start out. So um, yeah, yeah there's, there's so much to learn and in, in different scenarios, you might need different features as well. Um, so talk to us. My next question, people always want to know this, is talk to us a little bit about, like, did you have any fear about going live or being live in front of a camera? Some people don't. But if you did, like, what did you kind of do to kind of work through that and, like, and kind of overcome that? Or what did you learn along the way from when you first started going live to now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I've overcome anything. Um, you just kind of have to. It's like a Band-Aid. You just have to do it. Um I think that I've enjoyed it so much because I'm able to communi or connect with our community, which would be pretty much impossible otherwise, right? Because we are so widely dispersed. Uh, military families just, you know, we, we not only like live far apart typically, but even if you have a friend one year, that friend probably leaves the next year because we're all moving around so frequently. So being able to kind of live online and in this little box makes sense. Um, it was the technology scared me a lot. And again, dipping my toes in with Ecamm, it was not like, it was like, oh, okay, I can do this. Like even like little things like echo cancellation, 
is not something that's something that I struggled with on other platforms because I didn't understand the technology behind where the speaker, what does it matter if it's speakers or headphones or whatever, but this, there's a little checkbox you can click that will get rid of the echo. Like it's that easy. Um, and then the community, your community is really great too, to answer like the silly questions that I have. But for me, I, you know, at first it was like, Oh, I've got to get all dressed up and done up and do my makeup. And I actually get really irritated at men when they go on live because they can just literally like show up and <laughs> go live and there's not, and again, this is probably self-imposed um, insecurity, but there, I don't know. It's like, you feel like you want to be camera ready, uh, whatever that oh, means for you. I and I don't think know. that it, right? So I don't think yep. it should be that way. And I can, I can yeah. preach that all day long, but it doesn't mean I'm going to probably, like, I still went and put curls in my hair before I did this today. Yeah, same thing. So, I have the same thing. Like, I'm like, I'm going live on Tuesday. What day should I wash my hair? I know oh, that's Oh my God, Majori. Like <laughs> no, I scheduled like three calls, a meeting, and like another interview today because I'm like, well, I'm going to do my hair today. Like, so, yeah. and I'm not saying that like that's how you should do it. I think everyone no, should just you be, don't have to do that. Figure out, just yeah. with you. I understand. Figure yeah. out your like standard, your threshold for where, what, yeah. how are you, how do you feel presentable? Like, what is that for yeah. you? And it could be different for every single person. It's mm -hmm. really what will bring out like the most confident version of you because, mm -hmm. I mean, let's be real. People don't tune into these things to see like, you know, a presentation where it's just dry, you know, they want to see energy, they want to get to know you, they want to know what your personality is. So um, that's what I have just tried to embrace flaws and all I used to get real hung up on like, Oh, I need a script and I need to read this stuff out perfectly. And I need to stay on an outline. And that stressed me out more than anything else. So I literally just get on here and try to have conversations like I'm having coffee with you at the coffee shop. Yeah. Um, and that yeah. seems to go well. And it actually helps your get like, your guests, especially if you're doing interviews, they are way more nervous than you are. Yeah. <laughs> they are super nervous. So I always take, you know, a few minutes before the chat, like crack some jokes, tell them something silly. Like, mm -hmm. you know, one day, oh my God, one day, my daughter, I had like three interviews. For some reason, my daughter decided to pick up the dog poop out of the backyard in a bag and throw it away. But instead of throwing it away, she like chunked it up into the sky and it landed on the roof right outside my office window. So oh I'm like, so I remember like starting out my like conversation with the person I'm interviewing. Like, I'm sorry, I'm frazzled because I'm looking at a bag of dog. Yeah. The roof. And it was yeah. great. because so it was like, okay, cool. This is not that serious. Yeah. No one expects it to be serious. It does not need to be polished. You know, just come out, be yourself. People want to know who you are anyway. They don't yeah. want the, the done up version, like the, the perfect P's and Q's. At least I don't think so. I don't yeah, I completely agree. Um, I mean, I think it's I think it's fine to mo look your most presentable. I didn't want to roll out of bed and go on live video, but I don't yeah, think yeah. anyone wants to even go to work <laughs> after they roll out of bed. But um, so I agree with that. Right, yeah. And I and I totally agree. Like I'm pretty new to the interviewing as well. I've been doing it for a couple of months now, but you know, I had this super, I had this script of questions and I was like, I have to go down to each question. But, um, I think that I'm a pretty good conversationalist and I'm curious. Yes. So I think yes. that that is really great advice, especially if you want to do interviews, just like you said, like have a conversation, listen to what the person's yeah. saying. What, what, what else about what they said? Do you want to hear more about what makes you curious? Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, you can have your bullet points. Like I wanted to learn about your company and I wanted to sure. learn about what your experience live streaming. And I wanted to learn what you like about Ecamm live, but those are, it's a very basic overview. And, um, the more sort of just like you said, like you're having a conversation with a friend, the more comfortable I feel, I'm sure the more comfortable my guest, your guest feels. And I like the crack the jokes thing. Um, people have probably already heard this, but, um, I was telling Kelly that I usually have my cat with me during these lives. Today, she is sleeping <laughs> by some, like, thank goodness. But I was telling her that pretty much every other live I've done, my cat's been crawling around my desk, knocking things over. Um, so I lucked out today. Um, oh, yeah. Alex McDonald just said hi. Hi, Aww. Alex. We were just talking about you. Your ears so were burning. You. Yeah, your ears were burning. So you decided to join us live. Good to see you on here. Good to see you watching, Alex. Um, I did also awesome. want to say a quick um, shout out to um, Sass Edwards. She's um, done our live before and she said, um, said hello to me. And also um, John Covey Cole said Ecamm Live is the best thing since toilet paper. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I think it's Gata just gave a bunch of hearts. Lots of love for you. Lots of love for you, uh -huh. Kelly. And um, yeah, so and then hello to uh, then hello to Alex, um, who we were talking about already. Um, so funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
yeah. So is there anything else that you would like to share about um, Millie, about your, about you um, or anything else you'd like to share some other like pro tip you have about, about live streaming or about Ecamm live. We'd love to hear any other things you'd like to share with us. Well, you know, I mean, we've already kind of touched on it. Um, I, it's such a great way to let your audience, let whoever you're, you're serving, you are selling to, you are helping in whatever way, let them know who you are and who's behind your company. So I think, especially in our community, what, I don't know how in the weeds I want to get with this, but a lot of times companies will come out and say, oh, we're here to help the military. And it's kind of this like easy patriotic thing to do is, you know, like, yay, troops and, and all that. And coming from the military community as a military spouse, um, we are usually a little um, hesitant to appreciate and trust that right off the bat. We want to, we want to see like, okay, put your money where your mouth is. Let's see for real if you're here to serve us or if you're here to just kind of like, you know, maybe pander a little to us. Um, so it's really crucial for our community specifically to know who's behind the brand. Like we, they need to know that they can trust you. Um, and for very good reason. I mean, we're a skeptical group by nature. It just kind of is the, the nature of what we, we do and the lifestyle we live. So for us, Millie, it was really crucial to let people know who we are. You know, I'm Kelly. Hey. I'm a military spouse. <laughs> I've been doing this. We've been we've been married for 13 years. We've moved seven times. I know your pain. You know, like it, so. It's really it was really crucial for us to be able to to do that in a way that um, was accessible. You know, it didn't just live on our website. You know, that it's out there where our audience is. We wanted to meet them where they are, um, and we also want to be able to provide the resources that they're asking for and that they need. So depending on what's going on in our lifestyle and in military land, um, we can kind of address topics as they come up. I mean, I can jump on a Facebook Live whenever I want and answer questions. Or if people have questions in my group, I can, and because of the work that I do with Millie and through some other nonprofits that I work with, I have access to a lot of um, subject matter experts in different, um, you know, areas of our lifestyle, be it like you know, medical stuff or dealing with deployments or, you know, just any kind of topic. And I can usually reach into my um, contact list, really. And just as easy as, hey, click the Skype link. I have an expert next to me talking about anything that, you know, Ashley from D North Dakota is asking me in my group. You know what I mean? So I'm able to kind of really quickly meet people at their moment um, of stress and where they're encountering a problem and be able to make connections there um, that are helpful Again, we have so many big things to stress out about that um, if I can answer any of the little things, I really want to. So this makes it so easy to do. Um, and again, you know, we're, we're still exploring other platforms, but because of the functionality of Ecamm, I can promote and push out these sorts of conversations to every platform that exists so we can meet people in all of the different areas um, instead of being kind of stuck in just one place. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's kind of the nutshell of it. I mean, if anybody's yeah. interested in what we're doing, we're on we're on the internet everywhere. We are Go Millie on Facebook, and we're on Instagram and LinkedIn and YouTube. Check us out on our YouTube channel. Subscribe. That would be great. We're yes. still working on that subscriber count to be able to <laughs> get an yeah. actual You'll handle. get it up there. You'll you know, you know, it's a hustle. So you know, yeah. if you guys want to show us some love and likes and follows, if you happen to know someone excuse me, who's military affiliated and could utilize some of our resources, that would be awesome to share. Um, you know, my mom is always sharing with uh, younger kids at her church, you know, who may be just entering military lifestyle or, you know, she knows a mom whose grandson is, you know, like you, you guys have more connections than you think you do. Um, yeah. So if, if there's someone you think might need our resources, I would so appreciate you sharing that. Um, if you have any kind of, you know, heart to help or, or would like to get involved with us in some way, you can shoot me an email. It's just kelly at gomilly.com. Awesome. Yeah, and we'll drop all links because we have all your links. And so we'll drop everything in awesome. um, the comments. Um, Katie will help me take care of that. And um, so people can, you know, access you in lots of places. And definitely if you go to YouTube, subscribe, like their page, do all that great stuff. It really helps people out. And I, I just want to say, um, Kelly, that, even before you and I connected on Skype this morning, um, you know, I did, I do my research of people that I'm going to be interviewing and look at all their stuff. And I really saw just from, you know, your presence on YouTube, your presence on Facebook, your 
website um, how genuine and transparent you are as a company. And I think that that really um, just shows. So what I think what you're trying to do, you are accomplishing through, you know, all your different platforms and also just being live and being real and being yourself. And um, I don't, I'm not in the military, but um, I can really tell how comforting you would be to me if I was going through a stressful situation. Oh. Um, so <laughs> I would I either be very comfortable or we would be drinking together. Either way. It's yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I just, I think you're doing great stuff. I'm so very grateful that you came on here to talk about what you do and um, a little bit about um, about Ecamm and about live streaming. And I think that like what you said, like building community is so important for people to trust you and to trust your business and trust your brand. And you've really done that. So um, congratulations to you. And I would really like to have you on again in the future, maybe, you know, in a year or something when we're doing this and, you know, see where things are at with your company and to to oh, check in so with cool. you again yeah uh, it's been a great interview and um if anyone has any questions um if they're, you're watching this on on replay you know please leave them we'll try to engage you know kelly if you want to hop on there at any point and answer any questions totally. or we'll do our yeah. best to answer questions too um too. yeah any any questions about anything and um anything related to ecamm live or millie <laughs> We can answer other questions yeah. too. I'm sure. We're Wait, whatever. Really I'll answer anything. Anything. Um, I just really quick, before we jump off, I just want yeah. to thank you and thank Ken and Glenn and the whole Ecamm team. Like I, I tell this to people all the time. You guys are probably one of my favorite um, software companies on the planet that I've ever dealt with. I have never, and it's actually kind of spoiled me because now I expect this level of customer service from every other, <laughs> every other service, you know, software that we use. I'm like. I need this feature. And they come back and they say no. And I'm like, but Ecamm tells me yes. Like, <laughs> they do it. Or they help me fix yeah. it. Or they look over my logs and tell me what yeah. I did wrong. I'm an idiot or whatever. Like, so anyway, I just want to say, like, if you're even kind of on the fence about the software, don't be. If you're going to use it in the least, like, it is an amazing product. It has opened up a ton of doors for us. And, again, it's just a tremendously amazing company and just kudos to you guys and stay stay true to what you're doing because you're doing a really great job oh great kelly thank you so much that's um so awesome. my uh, ken and glenn are gonna love that they're, they're they're probably not watching right now they're but they'll probably watch this on replay and and um you know but i'll pass along the message regardless they'll definitely watch this so we yeah. so appreciate that we we're not perfect um, by any means, but we, and we're a very, very small team for anyone who's oh, wondering. I understand but, um, that. <laughs> but we work really, really hard and, um, we so appreciate people like you who are, um, you know, who are really, um, you know, into the community and we really encourage people, like, especially if you're going to, you know, get, um, a software license, get a subscription, join our Facebook communities. There are people there yes. that are doing stuff that we don't even understand the power of because we're software creators. We're not doing the stuff that you guys are doing. So we want that feedback because you're the guy, the people that are using the software every day to actually run your businesses. Yeah. So, um, we want to hear from you. We want your comments. We want your feedback. Um, it's a very positive community. Um, so definitely join us there. And again, Kelly, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure talking to you and, um, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. All right. Bye.